Hi, George here, and we're inside the new mangrove swamp here inside of Minecraft 1.19. And I'll be showing you how you can change the music in here and play the music that you want in the background. There are four new songs here inside of Minecraft 1.19, and three of those are right here inside of the swamp. So let's switch over to the desktop and get started. Okay, the first thing you need is to have a song, and I have one right over here. I got this off of the YouTube audio library so that I can play this in the video without getting any copyright strikes. So there you go. I found that this works best with an MP3 file to start off with. Now, if you're not seeing the MP3 part right down here, then you need to show your file extensions. And I'm in Windows 11. Go up here to View and come down to Show. And File Name Extensions is right there. Just make sure that that is checked. If you're on Windows 10, same basic idea. Go up to the View tab and then put a check next to File Name Extensions and you'll then see that. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to begin setting up our resource pack. And then I have my song here in a new folder. I just named it Packs and put it on my hard drive, right on the C drive right there. This is just some place to build the new resource pack in. So make a new folder and then put your new songs in that folder and you're all set to go. And for that, we need to know the names of the files and we have them right down here and the folder structure, there you go. You go into Sounds, Music, Game, and these are the three new files here inside of the swamp and then one new one up here for just the regular Minecraft area. So we'll be using all of this stuff. And then I'll put that right up here so you can see that. And we'll get back to that in just a moment. And so these are all AUG files. So we need to take our new song here and convert this into an AUG file. Now you can't just type over that and type on AUG. That is not going to work. You have to actually convert this. And I'll show you two different ways. One is with an online converter that works out pretty well. And the second way, my preferred way of doing it, is with a desktop app called Audacity, which is a free, great program for editing audio. But first, let's see how we can convert this using an online app. So let me bring that up. In this right here, Convert IO. And I'll put this link up here in the description so you can just click on that and get right to this page. And this converts from MP3 to AUG, which is perfect for us. Then click on Choose Files and grab your new file right there. Choose Open. And when you're all set, go over here to convert. Now there are some settings in here. You can come in here and you can do things such as change the codec, quality, audio, and so forth. I'll leave everything at their defaults. That's just fine. And hit convert. Now this is a fairly short file, so it'll convert very quickly. While it's doing that, notice down here, you can install this as a Chrome extension if you're using Chrome. That was just easier to use. Okay, that's now been converted. There's the .aug format right here. And it's saved out as underscore one. Click on download. And then download it back into your same location. Choose Save. There we go. And I'll get this out of the way. Okay, now let's do the exact same thing, but this time I'm going to be using the Audacity program. So let me bring that up. And there we go. Current version is 3.1.3. I'll put a link in the description to download this program. Again, it's a free program and it's a very good, very powerful audio editing program. Now, the easy way to bring a file in here is just to drag and drop from a folder. So I'll bring that folder back up again. There it is, I want that MP3, and just drag it over here, and there we go, inside. Up here you can see the stereo and the speed it's running at here, and 32-bit float, all that is correct. And then to convert this, just go up here to File, come down to Export and AUG, choose Save, choose OK, let that go ahead and do the conversion for you, and there we go, it's done, that's all there is to it. Okay, we'll just get this out of the way. Enter back here again. So here's the original and here's the one that we just converted. Now before we put this in the game, let me just play it just for a moment so you see what the sounds like. I'll just double click on this. There we go. It's kind of a funky kind of R&B jazz track. Good enough. Easy to listen to. Okay, now we need to build our resource pack. So for that, we'll go back up here to this list. Now you can download this list if you want to from my website. I'll put a link for the list in the description. The first thing we need is to have these folders right in there, that folder structure. So let's click on New Folder, and our first folder is Sounds. Go inside of this, and then New Folder. Next one is Music. There we go. Inside of that one, New Folder, and this one is Game. And our new songs go inside of here. So let's go back here again. That's the one I want. That's our new AUG file, the one that we did in Audacity. I'm going to right-click on this, and we're going to copy that. And let's go inside, right click and paste. And let's change the view here so it is easy to see. There we go. We now need to rename this to match the names up here. So I'll start off with the top one up here. Double click to get that name, right click and copy. It's come down here, click into the name down here. Right click and paste. Make sure you don't copy over that or paste over that .og part of it. 
It's our first one. I'll be using the same song for all three, just to make things easy. Right click and copy, right click and paste. You can use different songs, you know, one for each song, perfectly fine, or use the same song for all the songs, it doesn't matter. And let's click into here, right click, copy, and do the same thing down here, right click and paste. There we go. And then once again, we're going to copy that, right click out here and paste, and get our last name right here, copy, and then paste that right in here. We now have three songs with those three names inside of the game folder, and that's all set. Now I need two more things in here. We need to have a manifest.json file. We also need to have a pack icon PNG file. And to get those, we're going to have to download the current vanilla pack from minecraft.net. Let me bring that up. And here we go, you want this page, big long link, so I'll put this in the description. Just click on that and come right here. And then scroll down. Right down here it says, how do I use add-ons? And then in line two down here, you want resource packs right there. Click on that and then download this into your working folder. That goes right here, choose save. It'll save pretty fast depending upon your internet connection. It's not that large of a file, just about 75 megs or so. Okay, close that down, get that out of the way. There we go. Now I wanna open this up in a new window, so let's right click and open in new window. There we are. And then in here, you want this manifest.json and also hold the control key down, that pack icon PNG. And just right drag this over here and copy. And there we go, there's the pack icon PNG. This is the default one. I normally use a custom one. It's easy to make a custom one. You just make anything you want. It's 256 by 256 PNG file. And that's all that is. And it's just named pack underscore icon dot PNG. I'll use the default one though for this training. And here's our manifest file. Now on this one, we're going to edit this. I like to edit this inside of Notepad++. We need a new one of these because we have a current version of Minecraft. So you want the current one of these, which is why we download that vanilla file. Every time you're making a new resource pack, just grab a new vanilla file for that. A couple things in here. First one is the description. And it's up here, down here, and also the name right in there. They can all say the exact same thing. It doesn't matter. This is just what shows up in the list of resource packs in the game. So you want to have something which you can then recognize. And I'm just going to call this 1.19 background music. Like that. And I'll select that right click and copy and let's come down to our next line right here there we go right click and paste and right down here as well right click and paste okay now we also have these two uuid codes one up here and one down here now these are kind of like license plates on a car every car has to have a different license plate same idea here Every single resource pack in your game has to have a different UUID code set, just so that Minecraft can tell them apart. That's all this really does. Now, if you're just doing your own game on your own computer and nothing else, you can just come in here and change these last two numbers to two different numbers, change it here and change it down here, and you'll be just fine. As long as they're different from anything else on your game, that's what you need to do. Now, if you want to share this with other people, then you want to make sure you're using new codes because they may have also made a code where they changed the last two to the same thing you were changing the last two and then they wouldn't work. So you want brand new fresh codes for that. So if you're planning on sharing, let's go to another website. Let me bring that up. This right here, online UID generator. I'm just going to refresh this page and I'll put this link in the description again so you can get right here. Now refresh the page. There we go. Copy that code. And we'll go back to our file right here and I'll change the top one. Make sure you leave those quotation marks in there. Right click and paste. And then back to the code generator. Refresh that again. Copy that. And then back here again, let's change the bottom one. Again, you need two different codes, one for the top, one for the bottom. Right click and paste and save. And that's all done. Okay, all we have left now is just to compile this together into a zip and get it into the game. Actually pretty easy to do. Choose your sounds folder. Hold the control key down, grab that manifest JSON and your pack icon PNG. Right click and compress to zip file. That's right here. Or if you're in Windows 10, go up to the share tab at the top and then click on the zip icon. Give this thing a name. I'll call it custom 119 music. Now click in here. You should be seeing that dot zip. We talked about that earlier. Let me just back over that and change that to MC pack and click outside and choose yes. If you don't see the icon change, just go into a folder here and then back out again and you'll see that change. That just refreshes the view. Okay, now make sure that Minecraft is not running and then double click on this. It's going to start Minecraft and load the pack. Let's take a look at that. There we go, starts Minecraft. 
We're going to go import started. We'll wait for that to finish. There we go. Successfully imported background music. That's all set to go. Okay, now come down to settings and then scroll down to global resources and into my packs and you should see your new pack right there. There it is. Click on that and click activate. Now check over here under active, make sure that it's showing in active. And there we go. Okay, that's all set. We now can load the game in and make sure we're hearing our new soundtrack. So I'll click on play. And here's my mangrove swamp world. And there we go. And that music should start up in just a little bit here. It starts up at random. So, oh, there we go. There's our new jazzy music in here inside of the swamp. Check the description for my Spotify Minecraft music playlist. Make sure you click on like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.